okay friends here we are looking at a problem of circular motion it is from hc verma exercise number uh, 24 on page number 115 They have given a hemispherical ball. This hemispherical ball. It is rotating about a vertical axis. A block, I write as a particle only. A block is kept over here in such a way that the radius vector. makes an angle theta with vertical the coefficient of friction is given as mu and they are asking us the values of range of omega so that the block does not slip that is the block stays in equilibrium so there are two possible situations in situation number 1 the block slides down Situation number two is the block has a tendency to slide up. Using these two conditions, I will get the value for range of omega. Now let us show all the possible forces on this particle. That is, let us draw the free body diagram of this particle. in case one we are saying that the block has a tendency to slide down so the force of friction will act tangentially upwards so the force of friction will act tangentially upwards now let us see various angles here This angle is 90. This angle is theta. So this angle will be 90 minus theta. This angle is again 90 because this is radius and this is force of friction. So this is 90 minus theta. This is 90. Then this will be theta. Right? Okay. So what are the possible forces acting? at this point let me show it with another uh, a bit that will be the best way to understand this is a force of friction which is along the tangent which makes an angle theta here this is a normal reaction which is along the radius say n The angle between these two is 90. This angle is 90 minus theta. So of course, this angle will be theta. And then there is weight mg, which acts in the downward direction. Now let me resolve this. F cos theta. This will be F sine theta. Normal reaction if I resolve, it will be n cos theta upwards and n sine theta. Okay. Now, n sine theta minus F cos theta gives you the necessary centripetal force for rotation. Let us take this. O dash P as small r, which is the radius for centripetal force or uh, for circular motion. So I have one equation. M r omega square is supplied by n sine theta minus f cos theta. Whereas the downward force m g is balanced by the upward forces.
now let us take the ratio and write f as mu n that's it we can write f as mu into n and let us take the ratio let us do both the things simultaneously i'll get um, r omega square upon g equal to n sin theta minus mu n cos theta divided by n cos theta plus mu n if i take n common from numerator and denominator it will simply cancel so what do i have square upon g s see here sin theta minus mu cos theta cos theta plus mu sin theta that's it so that gives me omega square as g upon r times Decide smaller in terms of capital R. Please recall the figure. This was R. This was theta, and this is capital R. So that sine theta will be. So instead of small r, all you have to do is to put r sine theta, and that gives you omega x. Square root of g times and that is your final answer. Okay. Now case two. pretty simple we just have to make a little modification and the modification is that now we will have the block which is having tendency to move up so the only difference will be in case 2 we will take force of friction in the downward direction that is the only change that is the only change you have to make so i leave this sum to you you can do it on exactly similar grounds the only thing you have to do is take f in the downward direction so this will be f so f cos theta will come here and f sin theta will go down
আছে again apply the same principles and you should be able to get the answer there's nothing big about it just a little modification plus will become minus minus will become plus that's it so the only thing is in the final answer that we have got here in case 2 this will become plus and this will become minus so for case 2 all we have is this becomes plus this particular thing becomes minus that's it otherwise everything else will be same thank you so much